We got about halfway of this area done. This thing, we don't remember what to do. We gotta grab that mystery, and then we're just wrapping all these up, which is pretty fast. Uh, we're almost done collecting all the wealth, which is kind of the harder part. Mysteries are pretty easy to get, and artifacts. So let's get going on that. Oh, but before I do, I want to do this. I don't know how to do it in this. There's a way to like exit the simulation. Oh. I want to see if they did anything new for that. Open. All right, so real quick, I kind of want to go down and grab this mystery and then uh, go up and raid this. So go down, grab that mystery, come and raid this. I don't even know where my character is right now. Right here. Yeah, so fast travel here. We'll go grab that mystery. We'll come up and raid this, grab the synchronization and then work our way back up and uh, keep pulling around. I think the our quest line right here is to find and confront the murderer. The killer uses a signal seen in Southeast Itri. So he'll be like over here. Um, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we should just go along with the story because the story might take us here. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, fuck yes. I don't know why I, do, I don't do this. Okay, change of plans. We're going to fast travel here, go grab this mystery and then go to Itri. We're going to trust the game to take us to the things we want to collect. Just wrote out a postcard to Jesse. Oh my God, that's fun. That's fun. All right. I missed it. Okay. Oh, not us taking fall damage right when we start playing the game. Could it be me? Pop me a postcard if he gives the address. Well, the DL, baby. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys the story about the, the one mod that I used to have who found me? Who looked at my address? He's like, hey, is this you? And I was like, that's kind of fucking creepy, my guy. And he's like, do you mind if I send you food? I was like, that's kind of creepy, my guy. No, but this really great place. It looks like they do uh, Spanish food. I'm like that's, I'm telling you, this is kind of creepy, my guy. Or did I just kill that guy? Fuck him. Do you have anyone? Oh man, I appreciate it, Clint. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that one a little closer to the vest, my man. And I'm telling you, like, I, I was just like, oh, God. We're about to get sorted. Oh, we got paid to do this. Sack of shit. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, bless. Thank you. are so hard but they really are yeah and like it is kind of crazy when someone figures out your address but at least you can kind of see where maybe it was like no i hate their creepiness but at least i figured out where like my kind of weaknesses were and like hiding my address and stuff because i did learn something from that but it's when he asked to send me food i was like lucky they were terrible archers i and i'm lucky you're a far better fighter than these pieces of shit high one a fine display of your prowess. If you'll permit me, I'd repay your kindness. Mm. But these bastards burnt my pack to ashes. Stop by the Yorthegger shelter and I'll find you something. Should I find myself there, then why not? If you seek a more formidable foe, this lot was saying their leader's not far. Reckon you could do us all some good and get rid of them. They kept saying something about two golden peaks in the east. Must be somewhere between them, I guess. Between two golden peaks in the east. Most curious. Aye. Well, you find them, you send my regards, yes? And by regards, I mean you lop off their head, yes? Oh man, I totally <laughs> blanked out. In any case, find me at the Ordegger shelter. Can't promise I'll be sober, but it'd be good to see you again. 
Alright. Oh, completed. Good, 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 good. Another clue. I think I know of where they speak. I don't know where they speak. I have no effing clue where they speak, bro. I'm the worst with these mysteries. I, I, I don't know why I stopped paying attention, but I really do. Malevolence. This mm. land bears deep affliction. Oh no, it's one of these. All right, we just gotta shoot out the the stones. Mm. Here's the first one. <laughs> I think the next one would be over here. It kind of seems like where the sound went. To work uh, with lived in the same apartment club class a few years ago. He would say that shit to me like, "See, Jason was over last night on the regular. Like he knew our cars." <laughs> oh, that is weird. That is weird. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> like, why would you ever do that? And like, is that something you might notice? For sure. Why wouldn't you? If you just notice people, like you know, people. But like, you never bring it up to them. You keep that to yourself. Oh, I missed. That's better. This That's so creepy. That's all talking about, ass. The Mars armor. Imagine if you're just like, oh yeah, Jason brought me a bunch of guns to keep at my place. Just in case creepy people come by. <laughs> he brought me like a shotgun and like dynamite. Like, I don't know, bro. You never know. Do -do 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 -do. Can you even live near my building? Just in the same complex we need to dr drive by to see. Oh fuck no. Yeah, okay, never mind. That is weird. Yeah, I've had some weird neighbors too. Like people who knew, this is why I love not living in apartments anymore. It's because the weird like you run you are the, the weirdest people live in apartments with you. You're living right next to everybody. Well, I remember there's this guy that lived below um this back when I oh god, I was like 23 probably when I lived in this place. Um he lived underneath us and like he would always like dude he would have his door cracked a little bit i swear he did and he would always like come down be coming down uh when we were like going to work or leaving to go do stuff and like catch us a conversation and he was like this old dude um that was way too tanned and like he was like oh yeah you guys party and i was like Bleh. he's like oh yeah I, I keep a lot of vodka in my place and stuff i'm like yeah that's cool bro and then come to find out, um, my old roommate Donnie, he hit me up a couple years ago. And he's like, bro, you remember Keith? I was like, yeah, I remember Keith. He goes, bro, he's like, you know, Keith got banned from the Publix that we live near. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, I was just over there grabbing a bite. And uh, someone was, you know, one of my friends who worked there was telling me about this guy named Keith. And like, he's like, it's the, kid, it's the dude from the apartment complex. Cause like he was hitting on the workers so much, like the mail workers. <laughs> Bro, like you know it's bad when you harass the mail workers enough to get banned from a place. You know what I mean? Cause most dudes will like just like be like whatever, bro. Like get the fuck out of here. Am I in the right place? I don't know where I am right now. Let me see this map here. Oh yeah, okay. Damn, this place is. All right, so this guy lives in Southeast East Hill. And then the worst place, the worst part about this is that same guy, uh, who it was the creeper neighbor. He goes to my grocery store now. 
Like the Publix I go to in Orlando, I've seen him there twice now. And like, dude, I like, I dodge him so hard, it's not even funny. Like he has no idea I'm there. Now I'm the creeper. Now I'm the one like, I'm behind the grocery aisle. Like, you fucking going, man? Pardon me wants to go get a selfie with him and send it to my old roommate. I miss my old roommate, bro. God, I love that guy. My, my old roommate was a bomb, man. His name is Donnie. It's the coolest kid ever. Bro, my old roommate is what will make you believe in the American dream, baby. So I met my old roommate when he was, uh, we were working at the restaurant, uh, called that house. And he was just this big dude who's, he's a character, bro. Like he made everyone laugh. He's just a goofball. And oh, where, where is it? So he's just a goofball and he was a dishwasher and he lived in like a kind of senior part of town. It? And so I was like, I'll give you a ride oh. home. So you don't got to wait for the bus. And we just got like built a friendship. And then, uh, he became a roommate. You know, we Hank. had a room. I was like, "Yeah, move in here, bro." Hank. Um, if not here. and like he started going to like going to the community college we lived next to and stuff. And like now he's like making six now, figures. Where? You know, where is it? Like just living life. I've seen the city from the vault around here before. Are you all right? It is not safe to be out here. Dude, just like washing not dishes. Safe. Why? This Aimlessly. town is the jewel of Swartalfheim. There is nowhere safer. I assure you. Oh, uh, I merely seek a toy my son dropped. But no matter, he has more than enough at home. And I must get back. My wife will be wondering where I got to. Come, walk with me a moment. I shall introduce you to my boy. He's always wanted to meet an Aesir. Now, I understand your concern. We too have heard the moose pelts are coming. Rash your fall, let's go get this. I failed to see what they could want in Svartalfheim. But they are already here, close by even. That is why I urge you to find shelter. <laughs> you, Asir. I have heard how you are famed for your sense of humor. Tell me, have you met mm. Thor? We are very close, yes. My son, the way he got the you have nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Not insane, insane, but... Perhaps you could spare us a tale, if you have time. Let's keep moving. Oh, yes, of course. I've seen the city all from the vault around here he was, like, he was on the crew on the day find labor team that was like building the, the restaurant, culprit. right? Where are your people? And then he just, My uh, people. he got a job washing Why? dishes all from that crew. Probably um, looking at us from their windows. But pay them no heed. And then like, uh, and you know, because I was friends with them and I saw he was a hard worker. Him. Like, I got moved up to the line so he could I like cook with us and stuff. And learn how to cook. Keep calling you kitchen. Like, just fucking work your way out, man. I have many names. My friends call me Javi. You may too. Oh, thank you. Javi. Javi! A fine name. Let's get you home. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Here, my home is this next one. I must ask, mind your step. Mm -hmm. My wife only just potted the lovely plants this morning. And, uh, and, do you, do you see that? See what? Moose bells going into my home. Amid all this mm. excitement, I've had little time to dwell on Ragnarok. And yeah, no kidding. What now? Amid all this excitement, I've had little time to dwell on Ragnarok. When will the storm break? Tomorrow. Yo, what's up, Mental? Or far in the future. I think the latter more likely. I have Loki imprisoned for whatever role he has played in Baldur's predicament. His son too is bound by my chains. What of Sutra? The prophecies say he must play a part in Ragnarok. But for now he is merely the abductor of my child, not the bringer of the twilight. Still, once Baldur is safe, I will return to Asgard and raise an army. Muspelheim must be conquered. Without mercy. 
This is kind of weird that they just like put this in like accidentally no. had this drop Where? in the middle of this quest. Where is it? This toy hammer. Is this? Mjolnir. Yo, yes. Mental, how's your weekend? My son's pride and joy. Tell me, have you met Thor? Um, as I said, we are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could spare us a tale, if you have time. Dun -dun, he, should, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. he should be here. Uh, any moment now, he should be here. Okay. If I speak to him, is he gonna be here then? My friend, you must leave this place. It is not safe, and I think you may know that, yes? Not safe? Why, this town... This town... This town is the jewel of... Uh, uh give me my regards to your what? what? Forgive me, my friend. I will not be able to stay any longer. Please pass on my regards to your wife and son. You're leaving? Oh, but I'm sure there'll only be a moment. I must uh, get back to my own son. I'm sorry. I understand. Of course. I, I hope you find that which you need. Find? Oh, yes. Uh, I was looking for something. Uh, I'm sure it'll turn up. Good luck to you. All right, world event complete. Remit, remit, remit. Whatever that was. All right, so there is a just skill points there. There's an armor piece this way, which I want to get. I must uh, be careful now. Or a piece of uh, it could be a weapon too. I'm not sure. But I definitely want it. Why are you sliding down there, sir? Oh yeah, this is a slide. I, yeah, yeah, now I remember. That's loose gravel. They don't want you to climb that. Hmm. If I can get this guy real quick. Nailed it. Oh, baby. Mento, you beat the raid yet? What's going on with this, man? We're weak too, baby. That dude's dead. All right, so we gotta get in that room somehow. So maybe if I go here and drop down, I might be able to just drop on that. One more drop. Yeah. Never mind. God dang it, man. What the? Stop. I'm failing at puzzles. Leave me alone. All right, so we can't get in through that way. Was it if I went to the gun shop on Saturday, then to the butcher shop? Uh, got a couple of flame aids, the, the, the two bone and ribeyes. Oh my god. Damn, man. Whew. The flame was so soft it wasn't even chewable. That's awesome, bro. So I beat the raid in our main clan team first time I hopped in with them. Oh, nice, man. Hell yeah. Good for you. GG's. Heard the drop, saw the awesome beer, and I was convinced that uh, this, is a ch uh, this is the channel to watch. You're in the right place, my friend. I have the best drops. Other people have drops, but mine are so much better. Guaranteed. That's proven by science. Welcome on in. 
Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Jammed. Dum dum dum. Alright, so this has three inserts. These drops are the best drops. Show me. There are many like it, but these are the best. Um, there's something over there. Alright, I'm probably looking for the keys in here. Yeah, okay. I got all the drops, but I don't even know what they are. That's how I like to do things too. I don't know what it is, but I want to make sure I have it just in case I enjoy one later on. Oh my God, can I, can I, I, I missed all my shots. I'm out of arrows. Vikings in North Florida outside the game by any chance? Oh yeah, man. Um, it's definitely it's fascinating. The I love Norse lore because of uh the reliance on like mischievous people doing things, especially Loki, right? Like Loki just doing everything. Like he's always messing around. And yeah, North Lore is pretty interesting. look back at uh at like greek lore right a lot of greek lore is the person messing around and doing stuff is like oh uh not uh, zeus like the leader and so they want you to be wary of like leadership but then in north of mythology uh you know odin's kind of a lot of the time is the one who's the the righteous one and they're like, hey, make sure you keep an eye out for the people around you okay like that friend you, th you got that you might think is nice, mm, keep an eye on him. Bye -bye. Fire. Oh, man. Yeah, make the Earth key. Looks as though it may be complete. Don't <laughs> mental give this description over to Hands in the Garden. Thank you for picking us up. Nice. I can't hear you over the game. Oh! You know that's true. Fuck. My bad, my bad. I was doing something, I was recording something yesterday and I had to turn up my volume. Uh, on my desktop. Should be fixed now. My bad, fuck. I'm such a goober. Should be better now. Sorry about that, everyone. See that thing player? Uh, you cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love Sea of Thieves too. You used to play a lot of Sea of Thieves. Man, these guys just like keep spawning here. What the? This guy get up with an axe in his head? Oh my god. Can I grab that axe from his head? And use it? Oh my god, just use the axe out of his head? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> That's so great. Do, 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 do. Who's your uh, Sea of Thieves uh, stream that you watch a lot of? Our boy Allcube? That was dope. Yeah, that was pretty great. Alright, so we gotta find like the keys and stuff here. Yoink. All right, now we're in here. Pull this backwards. Spamble's, uh, he was all a, he was all together sometimes. And by sail, I mean, I drip around a bit. Oh, you sail together sometimes. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I used to love Sea of Thieves. I played Sea of Thieves back when you could. This is how old, how old of a Sea of Thieves player I was. Uh, back when you could like gun swap. So you like you would do uh quick swapping from your sniper pistol. In PvP, if you kill a light uh bear enemy, you don't kill the ghost within like five seconds. They respond to full health. Remind me of that. Oh, nice. Oh, new cloak. Yes, I'm waiting for a new cloak. So that's back when I used to play Sea of Thieves. Oh, wait, I don't want that cloak because I got this uh, Dwarven one that I like using. I do want to see what it looks like, though. Let's go look at I really like the cosmetic season pass. Yeah, they do a great job with all their cosmetics in that game. I, I love the world of Sea of Thieves. But uh, like what I really loved about Sea of Thieves was being able to be like a solo uh, sloot player or, you know, solo. Uh, uh, what was the step up? The Brigadine or whatever. And you could like you could like solo four people. It would be one versus four. And because you could like swap on people, you'd be able to uh, kill a whole crew and sink their ship by themselves. And I'm sure you can still do that if you're good enough. But I wasn't. But I was good enough to do with that with like this swapping method. Boomers get excited for new cloaks. Look here, buddy. So what? I get excited for a new cloak. Writings on the ritual. They are performed at night. There's emphasis on something called a salakar. My elven is rusty. Vessel of souls, I think. I guess that's season from the Spamos because I'm not too nice of a pirate. <laughs> Someone isn't harming me or helps me. I share my loot instead of murdering them. <laughs> it's very hard to trust people in that game. That's for sure. I do kind of miss that feeling of uh, when someone's like sailing up on you. Like, are they friend or foe? Are we gonna split the loot here at Skull Island, or are we gonna kill each other? Spells killing spells. I feel like if Sea of Thieves had a had and like maybe it feels this way now with the season passes, but I always just wanted something more broader to be working towards. Like if I had my own my own island or something I could build on. Um, if I could like keep upgrading my stats or something like that, like if I just wanted something a little bit more persistent because um, I and I just didn't feel like gold was doing that for me. Like just getting more gold wasn't enough. I wanted that gold to mean something. Something about the binding of only the most powerful hoogers. I have nothing. Uh, they did get rid of the rain, but hopefully, snap. Uh, having your own island would be so sick. Yeah, and like it, you know, it's its own instance, whatever. Only your friends can come do it. Like it's not like a, not existing in the world, but like just your own place that you can go to. To like make it look cool. I don't know. Just just something that gives you a little bit more ownership. What the? Oh, it's a pop up. <sighs> Bro, I, I hate pop ups so much. Like random things I have installed on this PC. They're like, hey, would you like to update? I haven't used you in forever, in forever, bro. No, I would not like to update. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Back into the game. The laggy alt tab. So Animal Crossing. <laughs> Yes, Animal Crossing, but with pirates. I'm going to go yell at the devs. Thank you. <laughs> 